Yo, yo, what's the vibes? Back with another video. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, drop a comment down below. I drop daily videos, daily uploads. Let's get right into it. Okay. So today, we're going to revisit the King Vaughn situation. Today I was watching the interview with DJ Academics where he interviewed the manager right after the situation happened. You know, they say when things happen, you got to go to the immediate response. Not two weeks after, not a month after, what's said right after. And I remember the DJ Academics interview was probably one of the first interviews that the manager did after the situation. So I said, let me revisit this uh, video and let me uh, take a look at it. Now, there's a few things that stuck out to me. I'm not going to lie. Hmm. Let's get into it. One thing that stuck out to me, he said, after they left Club Opium, where Vaughn had the release party, they weren't scheduled to go to the, go to the after hours spot. What rang off in my mind was, so then why did you go to the after hours spot if the normal usual plan is after the planned event, they go right to the Airbnb. That's what he said. This night, okay, with an artist and a manager, when you're a manager, I'm not going to lie, you literally control the artist, their movements, what they do, when they do it, how they do it. Yeah, it's literally full control. You don't have control of your artist. So your artist is controlling you. So what are you there for? You're the person who sets up his events. You're the person who controls his walkthroughs, the, the music events, everything. You're, you place him where he needs to be. He's the bag. You must protect the bag. That's what I would think. So you mean to tell me you let your artist do what he felt on his own accord? And his answer to that was Vaughn wasn't in his right mind. Okay. That's one question I had. He then said when they got to the club, security put the guns up. Who knew that King Vaughn even traveled with security? Most rappers do, so if he does, it's not surprising. But why would the security put the guns up at a spot they know they're not scheduled to go to for any money purpose? Because, you see, artists don't just party just to party. No, no, no. It's always a bag involved. A walkthrough, an event. They just don't walk out the house and just party with regular people. That's rare. That's very rare. The last guy you'll probably see in the club was maybe Pimp C. <laughs> Real talk. But how was Vaughn able to just say, yeah, I'm going here. And he said they were how many cars deep? Ten cars deep. So all those ten cars made the decision to say, yeah, we rolling. Nobody said, nah, that's not the plan. They said they were how deep? 25 deep? That man convinced 25 people to move. While you're the manager. It's not making sense to me, man. Maybe I'm wrong, but it's not making sense to me. That's not adding up. 
that don't you don't that's like letting your dog off the leash in the street when you're told to keep your dog on a leash because the manager like I said controls the movements of the artist it's money moves you don't just go to the club for leisure so why was King Vaughn chosen to go to that club that after hours spot after he already got the bag turned up for the app for the uh album release party why did he choose to go there and run into someone ironically he had issues with it's not making sense and I would think the security, knowing that it's a place they're going to, that's not scheduled, they would be on high alert. Follow me. It's not making sense. He also said that when King Vaughn, no, he said that he bumped into Kwando. That's not what I seen in the video, man. I seen the boy walk directly to him. And the crowd followed. Who was the individual who put the battery in his back? The same way another individual put the battery in Tupac's back. It's not a coincidence how those situations happen, man. Follow me. He said when the shots rang off, he got hit, Vaughn was hit. Now, guys in the street are not trained to hit moving targets. In the video, King Vaughn was clearly scuffling with Kwando. The guy that's the suspect, the alleged suspect in the shooting, he's that good of a shooter to hit King Vaughn four times and not hit Kwando once as they're tussling. Follow me. I'm telling you, man, this is crazy. Follow me, man. <laughs> Yo, this ain't making no sense. Dudes on the street are not trained shooters. He then alluded to the fact that law enforcement was present. Hmm. These are his words. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. It's not adding up to me, man. Mm -mm. I went back and looked at that interview and I said, hmm, let me write some points down because this right here. There were certain points I wrote down. Yeah, that's the first time I ever did this on YouTube. I, I was like, whoa, hold up. <sighs> that don't make sense. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> whoa. Run that back. What'd he say? Nah. Mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. But let me uh take two seconds and look at my notes. <clears throat> I'm back. So he said, no one knew. King Vaughn's intentions that night. Bruh, you're the manager. If anyone would know his intentions, it would be you. You were the one placed in the position to control his situation. That's why you're a manager. You manage. How did you not know your artist's intentions? So your artist is managing you. So as I said before, what are you there for? I'm trying to figure it out. Because that didn't make sense to me. That means you don't have control of your artist. So you're not much of a good manager. But... He is someone in the game that has multiple artists in his roster. So he must know how to do his job, I'm assuming, or people would not hire him to be managed. So I'm trying to figure out, is Vaughn just 
that tough where he just make a carload of man do anything he want to do when he do it because he just King Vaughn. He just big, he King Vaughn. Nah, nah. It's seeming to me they knew that boy was at that spot. We got social media in 2020, man. 2021. Because this happened in 2020, so you know. But you got social media in 2020, man. So, you don't think it's not hard to go on Quando page and see him turning up in the club or seeing his whereabouts. So, I'm just saying it's not that hard. You could see anybody's whereabouts from your house. You could be in your house and watch your mans in Jamaica on the beach turning up with his, his joint. You feel what I'm saying? You could be in the crib. You could see anybody's whereabouts now is what I'm saying. So, you, y'all did not know that another famous person, he has a blue check by his name like you. So I know he's on the gram like you, keeping up with his whereabouts, showing the diamonds, you know, entertaining the community of followers that follow him. You don't think he will post what club he going to? Or I'm not saying he did. I'm just being realistic. He's an artist. Who knew they would run into each other? That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. They were both not scheduled to go to that club, correct? So how did they run into each other? They just decided. And it's not to say the club is something big, luxurious, Magic City strip club in Atlanta. It's a little hole in the wall. They both just decided to go to this one hole in the wall club out of random. And nobody stopped him. Maybe I'm tripping. You know, y'all y'all drop y'all comments, man. Go and watch the act interview. If it makes sense to you, it makes sense to you. It don't make sense to me. That's just my opinion. You don't got to agree with me. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But yo, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, stay subscribed. I drop daily videos, daily uploads. You're now welcome to K-Will TV. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. Peace.